It seems to be my B. Below is a list of vocabularies to be used in this lesson. Nouns. 수영장. Swimming pool. 보건. Preservation of health. 소나무. Pine tree. 바닥 equal floor 변태 equal pervert 홍수 equal flood 새우 equal shrimp 왕따 equal outcast 낚시 equal fishing 후배 equal. Once junior. 꿀 equal 혼이 허벅지 equal. Inner thigh. 말 호스 휴가. Holiday. Vacation. 휴식 equal break 버브즈 넘치다 equal. To overflow. 피하다. To avoid. 피하다. To unfold. To unroll. 답장하다. To respond to a message. 봉사하다. To volunteer. 시도하다. To try. To attempt. Passive verbs. 펴지다. To be unfolded. To be unrolled. Adjectives. 답답하다. To be stuffy. 평화롭다. To be peaceful. 신기하다. To be amazing. To be cool. 멋있다. To be stylish. Adverbs and other words. 오히려. On the contrary, introduction. Over the past ten lessons, you have been learning a lot about how to use. 능극. And things related to. 능극. In Korean, we have just about reached the extent to what you need to know about. 능극. And how to use it. In this lesson, as well as in lesson 36, you will learn a variety of grammatical forms that can be used to say to seem like or to look like, to seem like to be likely to. In lesson 15, you learned how to use in sentences by placing it after a noun connected with. For example, That restaurant is the same as this one. That tree is like a pine tree. Since then, you have been learning a lot about and how to use it here. You will learn about how to use this. 능극. Principle with the word. 같다. If you conjugate a sentence in the future tense, using. 을을 것이다. You end up with a sentence like this. 나는 밥을 먹을 것이다. I will eat rice. Remember again what the ending of this sentence is made up of. The ending is actually made up of. 능극. In the future tense. 을극. Followed by. 이다. If we remove the 이다. we are left with 을을 것. For example, 나는 밥을 먹을 것. This is an incomplete sentence, so it is hard to translate, but it loosely translates to the thing of me eating rice. Remember again that 것. is a noun, meaning thing, if we place 같다. after that noun, it gives the sentence a special meaning. 나는 밥을 먹을 것 같다. Whenever you finish a sentence using 을을 것 같다. the meaning changes to something that might happen. This meaning is quite similar to 을을지 모르다. which you learned in lesson 30. For example, 나는 밥을 먹을 것이다. I will eat rice. 나는 밥을 먹을 것 같다. I will probably eat rice and might eat rice. 나는 밥을 먹을지 모르겠다. I don't know if I will eat rice. Here are many more examples. It is very common for Korean people to pronounce 같아요. as 같아요. This is not only true just when using 같다. as it is presented in this lesson, but also in other grammatical forms that you will learn about in lesson 15, and that you will learn about in the next lesson. 저는 친구들이랑 내일 낚시를 할것 같아요. I will probably go fishing with my friends tomorrow. 우리 아빠는 저것을 싫어할 것 같아. Dad will probably not like that. 선생님이 그 수업을 하지 않을 것 같아요. The teacher probably won't do, teach, that lesson. 남자 친구가 답장하지 않을 것 같아요. My boyfriend probably won't respond. 우리는 휴가를 중국에서 보낼 것 같아요. We will probably spend our holiday in China. 모두는 왕따와 밥을 먹는 것을 피할 것 같아요. Everybody will probably avoid eating with the outcast at school. Although the previous examples used a person as the subject, the subject of the sentence can be anything. For example, 비가 올것 같아. It will probably rain. It seems like it will rain. 문이 열려 있을 것 같아요. 
The door will probably be open. 내일 홍수가 날것 같아요. There will probably be a flood tomorrow. You can also use this same form on adjectives. 우리는 늦을 것 같아. We will probably be late. 새우가 너무 비쌀 것 같아요. The shrimp will probably be too expensive. 그 교실이 아주 답답할 것 같아요. That classroom will probably be very stuffy. Full stop. Full stop. When describing. 것 같다. In the future tense these situations are guesses from the speaker. It is possible to change the conjugation of the word before. 것 같다. To express that something may have happened in past or might be happening in the present. When doing this, instead of using the future conjugation of 을을 것. You can use the past. 는 것. Or present. 는 것. Additions of. 는 것. If you forget the purpose of these additions, I suggest that you review lesson 26. For example, 엄마는 기다리고 있는 것 같아요. 선생님이 열심히 공부한 것 같아요. When using these past and present conjugations before. 것 같다. There is a slight nuance that the speaker has received some information to make him her express this possibility. For example, if I am talking with my teacher and he is telling me how difficult it was to get accepted into university back in his day, I could say something like, 선생님이 열심히 공부한 것 같아요. You, teacher, probably studied hard when you were younger. Here, you have heard the evidence of him getting accepted into university, which must have been difficult. Therefore, this evidence leads you to believe that he studied hard when he was younger. In order to describe this nuance, when 는 or 는 is used before 것 같다. I prefer the translation of it seems that or it seems as though. Below are examples of this being done in the past tense, using 는것 같다. 부장님이 그 일을 이미 다한것 같아요. It seems that the boss already did all that work in this situation. You could be looking at a pile of papers on your boss's desk that looks like they completed work. 그 사람이 아직 답장을 하지 않은 것 같아요. It seems that that person still hasn't responded in this situation. You could be looking at your phone and noticing that you have no new notifications, which would lead you to believe that the person hasn't responded. 옆집에서 사는 사람은 그 소나무를 자른 것 같아요. It seems that the person who lives in the house next door cut that pine tree in this situation. You could be looking outside to your yard and noticing that the tree is missing. Below are examples that show this being done in the present tense, using 는것 같다 엄마는 기다리고 있는 것 같아요. It seems as though mom is waiting now in this situation. Your mother may have called you and told you that she would have been finished 10 minutes ago. 그는 휴식을 하는 것 같아요. It seems as though he is taking a break now in this situation. The worker may have been very loud a few minutes ago. However, now it seems like he is not making a sound. So he probably taking a break now. 학생들이 요즘에 운동을 하지 않는 것 같아요. It seems like students don't like exercising these days in this situation. You could be looking at some students playing on their phones during lunch time instead of playing outside. 후배들이 봉사하는 것을 싫어하는 것 같아요. It seems like our juniors don't like volunteering in this situation. You could be looking at your juniors and noticing that they are not enjoying themselves, comma, when describing 것 같다. In the past tense, it is possible to do so in two ways, tilde 는것 같다. For example 한것 같다 낫었을 것 같다. For example 했을 것 같다. This next little section is a discussion about the difference in nuance between these two usages. Understanding this nuance is not critical at this point. This nuance is very hard to describe and your understanding of it will develop with your understanding of Korean in general. I never studied this specifically in all of my Korean studies, but my experience with Korean has led me to feel a difference between the two. Simply being aware of this nuance can be helpful for later. But it is not critical to your understanding of this grammatical principle. Notice the use of 는 in the sentence below. 아빠가 돈을 이미 낸것 같아요. It seems like dad already paid. Here, the speaker probably saw his her family get up and leave a restaurant or some similar evidence. This evidence would lead the speaker to believe that the father already paid, and they are ready to leave. However, by using 
The speaker is indicating that this sentence is more of a blind guess and hasn't received any evidence that would let him her to think this way. For example, 아빠가 돈을 이미 냈을 것 같아요. Dad probably already paid. Notice the way I translate these sentences to express this nuance. More examples. 선생님이 살이 찐것 같아요. It seems like the teacher gained weight. You would say this if you are looking at the teacher and notice that. For example, his face looks a little bit fatter than usual. Of course, you can't be sure if the teacher gained weight or not. But the evidence in front of you leads you to believe that he she did gain weight. 선생님이 살이 쪘을 것 같아요. The teacher probably gained weight. You would say this if you are talking about the teacher and how he went on vacation recently. You haven't seen him since he left, but you are guessing that because he went on vacation, he probably gained weight. We see a similar phenomenon with 같다. used in the present tense, even if 같다. is being described in the future tense. It doesn't necessarily mean that the meaning of the sentence is based in the future. For example, Look at the following sentence. 후배들이 봉사하는 것을 싫어할 것 같아요. This doesn't necessarily mean that the speaker thinks the juniors will not like volunteering. It is possible that the juniors are volunteering right now, and the speaker is not with them. Therefore, the speaker has no real way of knowing if the juniors are enjoying themselves or not, and this is merely a guess. However, if the present tense was used, in this situation, the speaker is most likely with the juniors and can directly see, receiving evidence, that the juniors are not enjoying themselves. The juniors probably won't like volunteering, or, depending on the situation, equals the juniors probably don't like volunteering. It seems like the juniors don't like volunteering, comma. Here's an example of how I use this grammatical form in my real life. A few days ago, I was waiting in line to get into a restaurant. There were a lot of people waiting, and some people were getting fed up with the ridiculous wait time. The wait was so long, that some people just got up and left, which would have bumped us up on the wait list. One couple got up and left, and my girlfriend said, are those people just leaving? My response was, 응, 가는 것 같아. Yes, they are probably leaving. It seems like they are leaving. Notice here that the evidence of the people leaving the restaurant leads me to believe that they are just leaving. Comma. Remember that the way to describe a noun in the present tense is to use. 응. Therefore, when you want to use an adjective to describe, 것 같다, 는 것 같다. Should be used. For example, 친구가 아픈 것 같아요. It seems like my friend is hurt. 엄마는 저랑 얘기하기 싫은 것 같아요. It seems like mom doesn't want to talk with me. 그 음식은 건강에 나쁜 것 같아요. It seems like this food is unhealthy. 시골에서 사는 것이 아주 평화로운 것 같아요. It seems like living in the country is very peaceful. 이 문제는 시민 보건에 아주 중요한 것 같아요. It seems like this problem is very important to the health of the citizens. You can attach which you learned in lesson 27 to an adjective or verb for that matter to describe a noun that was probably like something in the past but currently is not like that. For example, 너의 아빠가 너무 행복했던 것 같아. Your dad was probably very happy. Also remember that. 이다 is conjugated as an adjective. Therefore, the 는 같다. form should be added to it. For example, 그 학생이 학교에서 왕따인 것 같아. It seems like that student is an outcast at school. 그 사람은 변태인 것 같아요. It seems like that person is a pervert. 우리가 받은 것은 그 사람의 답장인 것 같아요. It seems like that thing we received is probably that person's response. Also, in lesson 23 you learned a lot about the word. 그렇다. And how its meaning is similar to like that, you can treat. 그렇다. Like a regular verb adjective, but remember that when conjugating this word you need to remove the. So, by adding. 을을 것 같다. To. 그렇다. 
you get. 그럴 것 같다. Literally. 그럴 것 같다. Means it is probably like that. It is used very often in Korean to indicate that something might be the case or is probably true. For example, 엄마가 어디에 있어요? 병원에 갔어요. Where is mom? Did she go to the hospital? 그럴 것 같아요. Probably I think so it seems as such. 다음 주 목요일은 휴가인가? Is next Thursday a holiday? 그럴 것 같아. Probably I think so it seems as such. Here as well, you should consider the tense and apply the appropriate conjugation too. 그렇다. Also remember that. 그렇다. Is an adjective, so the present tense conjugation in this case is. 그런 것 같다. And not. 그러는 것 같다. For example. 아빠는 낚시하러 갔어요. Did dad go fishing? 그런 것 같아요. Probably I think so it seems as such. 수영장물이 다 넘쳤어요. Did all the water overflow out of the pool? 그런 것 같아요. Probably I think so it seems as such. 그 사람이 말을 잘 타요. Can that person ride horses? Well? 그런 것 같아요. Probably it looks like it seems as such. Expressing possibility with. 겠다. It is also very common to hear. 겠다. Which you learned as a future conjugation way back in lesson 5. Used in a way that is similar to expressing possibility. You'll most commonly hear this used with some simple adjectives. The most common of all being. 맛있겠다. It is hard to translate that directly into English. People don't usually say this when they're eating food. Instead, they say it when they're looking at or hearing about food and want to express that it would be delicious if they ate it. You could argue that this is technically the future tense conjugation, but it's not really about expressing an idea that is occurring in the future. A better way to describe this is to look at another example. Imagine you were talking with your friend and he was telling you how he hasn't eaten in 12 hours. In English, you would respond by saying, you must be hungry, or you are probably hungry. In Korean, you could say either of these. You are probably hungry. You are probably hungry. Here, you can see that the speaker is not saying you will be hungry, as your friend is definitely hungry in the present. Here, we can see how. Can take on this function of possibility in the present. I've noticed, and you can see from the examples above, that this form is most commonly used when you see something or hear some fact, and are stating that something must be the case based on that evidence you saw or heard. Other good words that this is commonly used with. 아프겠다. That must hurt. 배부르겠다. You must be full. 힘들겠다. That must be difficult. Below are some examples along with my explanation of the situation that would cause a Korean person to say such a sentence. 힘들겠다. That must be difficult. You would most likely say this if you are looking at somebody do some difficult task. 나는 캐나다에 못하겠다. I guess. I can't go to Canada you would most likely say this if you just found out, evidence that shows you, how difficult it would be to get to Canada, for example, because the price is too high or because it was too far or something like that. I guess, there won't be enough money you would most likely say this if you were trying to figure out how much money you need, and you just found out, evidence that shows you, that you probably won't have enough money. 허벅지가 아프겠다. Your inner thigh must hurt. You would most likely say this if you were looking at your friend do some sort of inner thigh exercise, like that machine at most gyms where you have to squeeze your legs together against resistance. That's it. For more info, please visit howtostudakorean.com.